Hello everybody, this is going to be a short video on how to get to LOSAC. For example, you decided to start mining in LOSAC. Of course, you can just take your venture through the gates and that'll be no problem. But if you want to move something else back into the high sec, you need to have an industrial ship. So I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone here. What I'm doing is that I'm carrying my venture mining ship with all the mods that I need. And at the same time, once I find the system of interest in low sec, I will be able to have an industrial ship to go back into high sec to transport the minerals. So without further ado, let us start. And I already programmed the autopilot for the system to go to. I'm just going to double check. And it looks like... Well, let's see, ship to the last hour, yeah. Ooh, this system is hot right now. So hopefully there is no gate camp. But in case there is, we can try to use the whole the um, the micro warp drive and the cloaking device technique, which I will demonstrate. Of course, you can find better tutorials online or elsewhere on YouTube, but this is going to be a very short video. So this is my basic basic fit in the, in the uh, high slot. We have the prototype cloaking device and. The rest is pretty much up to you what you want to put in there. What I decided to put in there is two warp core stabilizers just in case I get locked. The um, the inertial stabilizers, two of them, to make sure that my ship will be able to rotate fast and align to the, the other gate. And the overdrive injector. This will increase the overall speed. Of course, the drawback of this is that I have, have to have, have minus 15% of carrying capacity in the cargo hold. But of course, there's uh, for every adverse effect, there's a good effect too. Alrighty, so let us undock and start heading to Losec. And we're going to jump right away. Usually what happens is that there will be ships orbiting the gate, maybe cloaked, to see what's incoming. And seeing a target like this, they will for sure notify somebody on the other side to attack. Because usually the industrial ships are very easy target. But this little tough ship, it's uh, kind of a cheap blockade runner because of the cloaking device and the micro warp drive. Okay, just because you don't see anybody here, that doesn't mean that somebody isn't cloaked. Okay, so we're gonna jump, yes, okay. Alright, thankfully there's no ships here. So I'm gonna demonstrate the micro warp drive and cloak technique. So you start aligning, you hit the micro warp drive, disengage, and engage the cloaking device. The moment you see that your ship has aligned, disengage and warp out. And here we go. This will prevent any ships from walking to you. Of course, any good interceptor will be able to spot your location and quickly get to you to decloak you. But hopefully you, you already aligned at that point in time. And of course, because of my warp core stabilizers, even if somebody locks me, I'll be able to warp away. The only problem is that if more than one ship is able to lock me and warp, warp scramble me at the same time, then I kind of would be in trouble. So, so far so good. Usually the very first system is the toughest system to get through. But that doesn't mean that there aren't any gate camps along the way. Let's take a look once again. It looks like there's really not that much activity here. There's been one ship killed in the last hour in the final system, but that's not a problem. At least I don't think. And yeah, not many people travel through this system. This is one of my favorite systems to um, mine in. Ooh, 
Hold on, hold on. Did I make a mistake? I made a mistake, didn't I? Oh boy. I walked to the wrong gate. That's a mistake. No worries though, there was no gay camp. I'm thankful for that. So the advantage once again of having the industrial ship in low sec where you mine is that you are easily able to transfer the minerals back into high sec and sell them there at a better price. There's really not much opportunity to sell your minerals in low sec. If you're really set on transporting minerals from low sec into high sec, you might want to consider buying the Cryos industrial ship. It is a Galente ship that, is, that has a mineral cargo hold that can hold up to 43,000 cubic meters of minerals. The downside of that is that its actual cargo hold only holds 500 cubic meters of stuff, so you can't really put anything else in there. And now we are at our final destination. Thankfully, there was no work, there was no gate camps. We were able to safely warp through everything. So now that we're here, select move it. Excellent. So now I can start mining. So this has been a tutorial on how to get into LOSEC using your industrial hauler. Thank you for watching and safe flying out there.